hurt you? Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, don't hurt me. Oh, don't hurt me. How are you doing that? What? What am I doing? What? Who are you? Who am I? When? Who am I? Who are you? Cut that out, will you? I'm Mike. Mike King. Now, who are you? Where is this? My bedroom. Now, who are you? How did I get here? You tell me. You came out of there. into Mike King's wardrobe. It's not easy stepping out into an alien world where anything can happen. But who is the mysterious stranger who answers to the name of Angelo? Good afternoon. Maybe you'd like to tell me what's so good about it. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. Grumpy's back from a hard day at the Diamond Mine. Come on up. No matter how big your problem, it'll look smaller from up here. Here. You have to learn to drink it upside down. What's it all about? Oily doily. Oh, oily doily? Mr. Doyle, the form master. Third letter he's written to Mom this week. A third? Hey, you really are in trouble. I bet Rita's furious with you. Because I never gave her the letters. <laughs> and I'm not giving her this one either. <gasps> oh. You mustn't do that. Oh, you've done it now. You really have. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes, my lad. Oh, now let me down from here. Cobwebs. Angelo! <laughs> the alien! <laughs> How many normal people do you know who can walk around on the ceiling? Let me talk to her. I'm sorry, Rita, I couldn't help it. It was an accident. But don't worry, everything's fine. Nobody else knows. Only Mother. She wants to talk to you. Oh, it's all right, Rita. I won't tell a soul. Say goodbye quickly. Goodbye quickly. <laughs> he takes aim. He shoots. Oh, kapow! Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. I'm just talking to Angela. Oh, cool! Go! <laughs> And this is sensational. Mad Dog Angelo's being sent off, and the crowd don't like it. <laughs> Still think I'm sending you up, eh? You're right. I am. <laughs> oh, yes. You'll see things a lot differently from up here. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is amazing. You're going to like living here, kiddo. From now on. The whole world is about to turn upside down. <laughs> Pick your face up off the floor. Come on up. I really wanted to take Melanie to that fun fair. It would have been terrific. Hmm. You want to take Melanie to the fun fair? You shall take Melanie to the fun fair. Dream on, Angela. Oh, I mean it. You shall. <laughs> Heard of Romeo and Juliet? What time's that? Ten to eight. <laughs> no. Wait, don't let Rita find out. If she sees what I've done, I'm chopped liver. You're going to be chopped liver anyways. <laughs> don't let her in. Please. If you don't let her see you, she's going to drop you anyway. Phone her. No. Say you're sorry. No. Tell her you'd like her to come to the party. No. 
That's a lot of no's. And so is this, Buster. He's like a big baby, Angelo. I'm such an idiot. Ah, oh, you're not an idiot. You're not because you realized you behave like a baby. Genuine idiots never realize it. I assume that was a compliment. If you want to prove how smart you are, you shouldn't be telling all this to me. Told to Melanie, right? Give that boy a coconut. A total waste of time. That's what that was, a waste of time. You've been saying that for the last two hours. Well, it was, wasn't it? Fiasco. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you realize Sam didn't speak a word to me the whole afternoon? Not a single word. Well, she was busy rehearsing. I thought that was the idea, wasn't it? Mike, you know what the answer is, don't you? You got William Shakespeare to write this? Well, he wrote it, and then I changed all of his these, thys, and wherefores into yous, whos, and whys. That explains the title, My Pal Puck. I, it's the simple tale of an American kid whose best friend is a charming and helpful alien. Tell me, this charming and helpful alien wouldn't happen to be by any chance based on you. Well, perhaps just a tiddly bit, yes. Well, Shakespeare did say it's best to write about people who you know. Well, I have to admit, you guys have written a wonderful script. Hey, why don't you show it to the TV people? <sighs> there. Now do you believe me? Oh, ah, tiara, my puppet. Ah, now, don't do anything I might regret. I can explain everything, honestly. <laughs> Smashing couple, eh, what? <laughs> 